Southwest Airlines is one of the DFW area's largest companies. Let's talk about their earnings report by the numbers. First, 60,000. The company employs 60,000 people. That includes 10,000 right here in North Texas. Even with COVID-19, there have been no involuntary furloughs or layoffs and none expected for the rest of the year. Which brings us to 27%. That represents the number of Southwest employees who chose early retirement, extended emergency time off, or separation programs. And then 915 million. CEO Gary Kelly announced today. This is a record quarterly loss for us. The company lost $915 million in the second quarter, a major loss compared to the $741 million net income in Q2 last year. One way or the other, it's got to take more passengers. Uh, you, you just can't cut your way to break even. The truth is, less people are flying, which brings us to our last number, 65%. Because of COVID-19 and safety, masks will be required, cleaning is a priority, and only 65% of seats are sold. So middle seats will remain empty at least through October. We know enough now to know that we have a long, long way to go. And that's your look at how COVID-19 is affecting Southwest Airlines by the numbers. In Dallas, I'm Tiffany Liu.